Hamas militants are targeting civilians, taking more than 100 hostage, including children, grandmothers, and young people. One mother describes the phone call from her 22-year-old daughter when gunmen attacked that music festival. She hasn't heard from her since. ABC's James Longman also in Israel for us tonight. Israel faces two crises tonight, an unprecedented attack and a hostage situation like no other. The government says militants kidnapped more than 100 people, many of them now in Gaza. Among them, 25-year-old Noah Agramani, taken away by gunmen on a motorcycle as she begs, don't kill me, and reaches out to her boyfriend as he's led away. Video shows Palestinian militants taking entire families captive, young children and the elderly. This is a massive terrorist attack that is gunning down Israeli civilians in their towns, in their homes, and as we've seen so graphically, literally dragging people across the, the border with Gaza, including a Holocaust survivor in a wheelchair, women and children. Hi, I'm James. We met Jennifer Damti, whose 22-year-old daughter, Kim, is among the missing. She was at that music festival when the rockets rained down. Panicked, she called her family and they told her to hide. She hasn't been heard from since. Kim didn't realize that there was like seven or eight Toyota vans full of terrorists and they just shot everywhere. They just shot them, slaughtered them like ducks. And that's the reason I'm here, because I want the world to condemn this behavior. I didn't bring my children up to hate anybody. Jennifer tells me Kim's dad and brother have been going to hospitals with her hairbrush, hoping a DNA match might tell them if she is among the dead. Can you try and just describe what it's like waiting for news? You can't sleep. Uh, all I can think about is where she is, if she's suffering, if she's still alive. I just want her back. And Israeli forces taken hostage too. This 19-year-old soldier wounded in the back of a car. Her family recognized her in videos circulating online. She's seen here huddling with other captives. And tonight, new video surfacing online of the young woman kidnapped in the desert. But where is she now? And how will Israel get these hostages back? So many other mothers here today. I'm not the only one. Everybody is missing somebody. Just heart-wrenching stories. James joins us now from Tel Aviv. James, are families getting any answers about their missing loved ones? Well, Lindsay, it's fair to say it's been a slow process. Israel is in a state of war. It's found it difficult to keep families updated. But today they did appoint a coordinator for the missing, asking families to come forward with DNA to help try and identify the dead. Mm. Lindsay. James, our thanks to you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.